pizza version number two. So frozen pizza on the grill. We got the Badlands this time. We got our pizza stone we're going to use. I have some hickory chips and a smoker box which you guys seen in the grill last time but that's how it looks like cast iron. It's a little shiny because put some oil on it and I'm going to move that aside right now. And all oh, really simple. Fill our chip box with hickory. And that's again why I kind of like this box or container. Makes it simple. So we'll put that together. Very simple. Put the lid back on. And obviously cut that open. I guess I don't know where my knife started today. But we will take this out. I'm gonna get that out simple like that. I'm gonna put it on the spiel and get that cardboard out for us and we are going to go do this. So here's our kind of setup for all this. So it's really simple and the stone I'm gonna put it right on the grill right away and put that in the, down in the grill grates and I'll show you that too. So we'll be back in a couple seconds. All right guys, I'm back. So I'm kind of just gonna show you the setup again. I got the grill grates moved around. I got the hood out of there and the smoker box we are just gonna put that guy try not to lose all the chips down in there like so a little bit of tight fit but it does well. so i'm gonna slide that over and a little bit greasy but try to get it out of our drip pan there so not a big deal and we are gonna put that back together put that there and slide the grate and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the pizza stone and throw that on the grill and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. So this is a simple part. Just put our stone in the middle of it. And I'm going to start all four burners to get up the temp. And I want to bring this to about 425. And I'm just going to go based on the grill temp. But So we're going to shut that down. And... I'm gonna watch that thermometer and wait until it gets to 425 and we should be in business. And at that point, I'll grab the pizza and throw that on. And then we, what this one is four burner, I'm gonna kill those two burners, leave these ones down. I'll turn them down a little bit and try to keep our temp right around 425. And we should have a great pizza. And I'm starting out obviously with the stone. I don't want to throw that on a hot grill. I want that stone to warm up. A lot of people complain about stones breaking. I think that's your difference, your temperature difference. And I got a little paper towel on there, so get rid of that really quick before it gets too hot. And I think, you know, that's the biggest thing. It's really kind of simple. I encourage everybody to try it. It's actually really good, but I'll be back in a few seconds when I show you throwing the pizza on. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back, guys. You can kind of probably see that smoke rising. That's a big part of this too, I want to get this grill hot enough. So we do have some smoke rising and we are well over 500. So like I told you, I'm going to cut these off, let that cool down again. I don't need 500, I'm shooting for about four and a quarter. So I'm going to turn those down and I'm going to let that temp drop a little bit. And you can see frozen pizza on the spiel. You're going to do this, I suppose you could do this with your hands, but I think that's a good way to keep yourself from getting burnt. But I'm going to put this on, and I know I'm a little higher. I'm not really too worried about that because obviously I opened the lid. That's going to drop some temp for us. And that pop is, I just lost the burner. A little more wind than I thought, so I'm going to have to restart my burners here and get that going. And we got heat there, and that one's relit. So like I say, I don't want those going. And I'm going to turn that down so we're back in business. Can't really see the chip box in there, but you can see we're smoking pretty good. And I'm going to shut that because obviously I want to smoke. So, and like I say, lost my burners, but that's fine. Restarted that one. I'm already right in that 450 range. So, roughly 10 minutes, this should be done. So, we will see you when we're pulling it off. And 
see you in a couple seconds. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to show you kind of where we're at. This been on there for about 10 minutes. I actually ran out of gas, so I had to switch that. So kind of change this up a little bit. But you can see we got pretty nice looking there, all brown around the edges, melted in the middle. See what our bottom looks like. Nice and toasted. So I'm going to leave it on there just a couple more minutes. I'm going to make sure that middle's done. But then we're going to get it off of here. So it's pretty simple. Like I say on my four burner, I just slide all the burners and bring it up to about four and a quarter. Then when I get the temp, I shut those off and turn those off and that smoking box does help. You kind of notice that's not smoking so crazy. Unfortunately, that's kind of the problem with running out of gas. Another thing you got to remember is to make sure you're going to use a smoke box, chip box, make sure it's by the burner with the flame. So in this case, mine should have been pushed over a little bit and that was a mistake I made this time around. But overall, I think we'll, we're looking pretty good. So um, we're getting some melting in the middle there. I'm going to pull it off because Obviously, I don't want it burnt, so I think we're going to be pretty good, and the great thing about the spiel and the grill is kind of slide it towards the edge, and you're off. So, I'm going to shut the grill off so I don't forget that, and I'm going to bring it in, and that kind of wraps this up, and like I say, no reason it shouldn't taste great. Um, Maybe you should add a little more smoke because we could have went that way. Next time around, I do another pizza for you guys. I'm going to try the amazing smoke tube and do it right for you. See what I think about the difference between my chip box. But I do really like my chip box. That seems to work good for this. But I guess uh, it's time to eat. So we will see you next video. Please uh, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Check out the website. More stuff coming. And redid that website too. Constantly trying to improve everything, guys. So I hope some of you will follow along on this journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a great day.